Right. Well, hi, uh, I'm Jordan. Uh, I am a 22 year old uh, student at Queen Mary University of London. Uh, I'm a first year PhD student. I've just finished my first year review and my area of expertise is uh, in the realm between mathematical and numerical relativity. Thank you, Jordan. Tell us, what is one exciting thing about being a mathematician? It's a, one exciting thing about being a mathematician is that the nature of problems that I can work on uh, can always lead you to discovering something brand new or discovering a link to a field you might have thought was unrelated. As an example, uh, one one problem that I had uh, actually involved me looking more into geometric analysis and understanding particular properties of special types of functions. Do you have a role model that motivated you to become a mathematician or someone you look up to? Who was this in your path? I, I think about this and I realized that I didn't really have a role model um, growing up. I somehow developed my own interest in maths, but the further along in my undergraduate that I went, I realized that there really aren't too many role models um, for people like me, young black males. So I thought, why not? Um, maybe I can be this role model for someone someday. And I think that's that responsibility weighs on me somewhat. It's a good and a bad thing. What obstacles have you encountered along your journey in science that you believe are specific to lack of diversity? And how did you overcome them? OK, so. I would say that. I, I'd say this began even in secondary school. Um, when I said that I wanted to go to university and either study maths or computer science, I don't think I was taken very seriously uh, because, you know, they thought that I might want to do something else, uh, which wasn't actually maths or computer science. Um, they just said that I wouldn't be good at it. And I questioned why that was, and I realized that uh, they hadn't they hadn't had to deal with uh, any ethnic minorities, especially anyone from the Caribbean who just didn't want to get a job straight out of uh, straight out of school. So to, to overcome this, I asked more people for their opinion about what they thought I could do and what I thought I was capable of. And I in the end, I found the right support. Reflecting on the challenge in your career, is there any advice for us? Or aspiring or early mathematician who are facing the same obstacles? Yeah, so I think one of the biggest challenges that I had was really beating this fear of imposter syndrome. I mean, I still live with this currently, but I think the realistic thing is that everyone suffers from this to some degree. Um, especially being from a minority background. This might be exacerbated in some way. But the absolute advice that I would give is you should never feel that you're cornered. You should always ask for help. Persevere. Because I think the difference between the people who do good research are the ones that stick with it long enough and have genuine interest in the subject. And if you have that, then I think you can overcome most obstacles. Thank you so much, Jordan. Do you feel like the Queen Mary is an inclusive space for you? Or like Queen Mary should do, be more careful about inclusion? I see. So this is a tricky question to answer. So I've been at Queen Mary since my undergraduate and I've continued to my master's and PhD. And I think that they could be more inclusive for uh, for their current undergraduate demographic, right? 50% of their undergraduates are Bain students, but the ones that continue on to PhD is, uh, is a disproportionate amount. So the fact that their student body doesn't continue on makes me question 
some of the inclusivity that they're, they're actually promoting. Um, and should they be careful about it? Yes, I think they should. Um, there are some things which work for different groups, and maybe it's something that they should keep in mind that whatever they think they are doing may not be working for uh, minority groups, uh, such as the one that I'm from. 